Okay, uh, welcome back. In this in this new series of tutorials, we're going to go over how to use the PHP MVC framework Code Igniter. Code Igniter is a great, great, great framework. It's lightweight, no command line, uh, command line needed. It has awesome tutorials. The user guide is probably the one of the most well-documented user guides I've seen on the net for any type of framework. The... The Code Igniter community, like within their forums, is probably one of the best out there also. You don't come across as snooty people who's like, well, you should already know how to do this. There's, there's, uh, if you have a question, some, there's always somebody that would take uh, time out their day to help walk you through it. So I'm going to bring it to you guys and my viewers. So let's go ahead and download... So let's go ahead and download uh, the framework right here, which I've already done. I've created a folder in my HT docs called CI tutorials. I'm going to take this, unzip, uh, unzip all of this, and just move into here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and I'm going to pull up Notepad++ for this. Okay, see I was already working on another project. Let's go ahead and close all of this. We can go ahead and go to CI Tutorials. Okay. So this is the standard index page. So we're not, we're not going to be editing any of this because this is an MVC framework. We're going to uh, be using models, controls, and views. Okay. So uh, first things first in setting up our application, we go ahead and go to the applications folder, go to config and config.php. Okay, we're going to make our base URL pretty much the URL of our site. So for this, I'm just going to do uh, you know what? We're going to just go ahead and do local host CI tutorials okay all right and let me go ahead and post, uh, start up xamp back in the chrome localhost ci tutorials everything's running this is the default uh welcome screen now if i was to go index.php that will still come up okay but this is grabbing this right here is a view of a controller okay you can see right here this is controller uh, welcome.php and this is also uh, displaying it from the welcome message.php in the views folder so let's go ahead and and look at that controller all right, you can think of controllers as the business end of the page. They're going to handle all the heavy lifting. Okay, instead of taking a normal page and putting all the code in there, the controller is going to, you know, take input from the person viewing the site, figure out what's going to be needed, gets all that information, and then puts it onto the view. Okay, so let's go ahead and just, let's create our own controller. So I'm going to go new file. We're going to call it test.php. Okay. So to make a controller, you, first it's going to be a class. I don't need PHP tag. Class, name of the controller, test. 
extends CI controller. Okay, close that. All right, so, and another way to think of a controller is think of it as a separate file directory because I can do this with, uh, within the controller, I'll create a public function. Okay, and we're gonna call this index. Now the index uh, function would be the first, uh, when you first go to uh, that controller, which would be, let's say right here, this is how you would access it. We'll go test. Okay, nothing is found because I haven't saved it yet. But when you first come to the test, the first thing that will pop up would be for the index, um, for the index control. So think of it as your index page. So if I was just to echo, hello world. Okay, granted, we're never going to really want to echo anything from the controller. But you'll see, just like that, that's what happens. Okay, so let's do this. Create another function. We're going to call it uh, other page. Yet again, go echo. This time we're going to put an H1 tag to make it look different. Hello world. Okay, save that. So since this is the controller test, we're going to go ahead and grab the next function, which would be right after uh, that slash other page. There you go. So you can think of the controllers as its own each individual file directory. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create a view to show you, and I'm going to show you how to load views. Okay, so new test view dot php. Okay, this you can just put all the HTML you want in here. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead, and this is how you will load a view. Do this for the index first. You'll do this, load, view, and then the view name, test, view. Okay. You don't have to worry about putting the PHP. The, this framework knows where, uh, exactly what it means. Okay, so... Now that we loaded that, let's pass some information we can uh, to the view. So we're gonna do we're gonna create an array called data. Okay, do header equals index page. Okay, and we're gonna do the same thing over here. Data. What we're going to call it title. And we call this other page. Okay. Change this to title. Okay. So since we're passing in information on, uh, in the data array, we can go right here after. Uh, declaring the name of the view at a comma data. OK, 
Okay, so what that does, it passes that array to uh, the view. The cool thing about that is, instead of have, uh, we can go ahead and do PHP echo, instead of going data title, we can just do echo title. Okay. Save that. Back in the Google Chrome. Hit enter. There you go. And I can even pull up source. This is what you get. Now we do other page. There we go. So with one view with one view one controller, we've created two separate pages. Kind of makes sense. So uh, so this is where we're going to leave it off for, for right now. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use models, and we're going to dive into pulling information out the database and um, some other cool, neat things we can do with CodeIgniter. Okay, so please take your time out to uh, like the video. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. I try to put out videos every once, at least once a week on some cool web development um, ideas and tutorials. So thank you for viewing and catch you next time.